Good afternoon. Today we're going to look at a 1959 Grundig transistor radio, um, the Micro Transistor Boy. Has a speaker dock. This may, this is made in West Germany. Um, might look familiar to you because a few months back. I did a video about the Columbia version that was made in 1960 that used the same format. They obviously uh, went to Grundig and took their 1959 and made it in 1960. So we're going to look at the original Grundig today. One, four, nine, eight, two. It took one hour to think up an idea. To get a business loan. Of course, the main difference between this space. and the Columbia is there's no difference when you uh, pull it out of the dock. You lose a lot of base. You take 20 minutes to make your business better. Introducing the Comcast this has a uh, an attached carrying strap, which the Grundig did not. I mean, the uh, Columbia did not have. I uh, guess the Columbia was a little cheaper in that respect. You take a look here and see the Grundig, the uh, Columbia has the knockout, but left off the uh, strap. Both of these are not in collectible condition. They have various nicks and chips, as you'll see. The interesting thing about the Grundig is the coloring. When it's like this, uh, it's attractive. It's got a blue sort of bezel there with the red Grundig. So it all looks matched here, although maybe that blue should be gray. That would be perfectly matched. But when you look at from the side, the back of the uh, radio is also blue, which does make it match this when it's out of the speaker dock but of course when it's in the speaker dock it looks a little strange so I don't quite understand that I couldn't figure out a scenario where everything would match for instance well maybe someone broke the back and got a replacement that was a different color but if that was the case and it was the same color as this then it still wouldn't match that um, although maybe this whole thing used to be in a blue speaker dock but if that was the case, then the front wouldn't match. So I get the feeling this is originally the way it was. In tax debts by um, of I don't get good AM reception here where I am, particularly in the day. I get a few, I get a few channels, a few stations in the uh, upper range. That's all. Well, let's look inside and see what's inside the radio. And here's the uh, inside. Unless I'm wrong, those are germanium transistors. Still works okay though for for its age. I haven't done any work to this at all. And I probably won't. Let's look inside the uh, speaker dock. We'll do that the same way we did in the Columbia by removing that screw right here. All right, screw removed. Off comes the back. Original Grundig. What's dirty in here? Uh, made in West Germany. Not a lot else, but uh, like I mentioned in the Columbia video it's 
just a little interesting that speaker docks aren't a new idea that they've been around for a long time like this is a uh, 55 years old or may be approaching that like the back only has two little feet because the orientation when it sets up the curvature down ends up being the support for it in the back nice idea the camera will pick up the extra base you get when you put it in the dock but it's fairly substantial so there's the 1959 Grundig transistor micro transistor boy um, a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with the uh, 1960 Columbia transistor convertible. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.